The northern Gaza Strip remained relatively calm during the week. In Jabalia, debris left behind by an Israel Defense Forces ground operation was removed. Meanwhile, in the south of the capital of the Palestinian enclave, IDF units advanced in the Al Zaytun area. The Israelis expanded their zone of control in the area of Al Sikha Street and the Kuwaiti Junction. A high profile event was the release of four Israeli hostages in Nusayrat, in the center of the Gaza Strip. The joint operation between the Army and Intelligence Services had been in development for weeks. Massive strikes were carried out on Nusayrat at the same time as the rescue operation. The official death and injury toll is in the hundreds, but may be greatly exaggerated. To the south, Israeli troops were withdrawn from eastern Deir al-Bala after clashes with Hamas militants. They were there with the stated aim of eliminating terrorist infrastructure. The Israel Defense Forces ground operation in the southern Gaza Strip continued. Fierce fighting took place in the area of Al-Shabura camp, located in central Rafah. Hamas militants carried out a successful ambush against IDF units in this now defunct area. Several Israeli soldiers were killed in the explosion of a booby-trapped building. Meanwhile, in the coastal area, the Israelis launched a limited offensive against the Al-Mawasi refugee camp. The area was heavily bombed, followed by a rapid movement of armored vehicles. Meanwhile, Palestinians shelled the Israeli localities of Sufa and Holit outside the Gaza Strip. Such incidents, however, point to the continued combat capabilities of Hamas's military wing. In the West Bank, Israeli security forces conducted raids in several localities. The arrests of Palestinians were often accompanied by shootings with militants and clashes with sympathetic citizens. Protests against Israeli actions in the Palestinian Authority were not uncommon. In Kafr Dana, for example, residents demonstrated in support of the Gaza Strip and the military actions of the Lebanese Hezbollah. The situation on the Lebanese-Israeli border remained tense throughout the week. The escalation was triggered by the elimination by an Israeli UAV of a senior Hezbollah commander in the southern Lebanese town of Sur. In response, the Lebanese group fired volleys of several hundred rockets into northern Israel. Most of the munitions were intercepted by air defenses. The remainder fell in open terrain. In turn, the Israel Defense Forces launched air and artillery strikes against Hezbollah facilities. The targets were rocket launchers used to shell Israeli population centers. 